सो हेलो गाइज एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल दिस इज अमीर कीर्ति कर एंड एम फर्स्ट ईयर एम बी बी एस स्टूडेंट एट जी एम सी मुंबई सो इन दिस वीडियो एज यूर डेट टाइटल आई एम गुंड बी टॉकिंग अबाउट फ्यू गुड करियर ऑप्शन आफ्टर नीट अदर देन एम बी बी एस बिकॉज आई फील मोस्ट ऑफ यूर डन विथ योर नीट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन यू गाइज आर एक्सपेक्टिंग अ स्कोर एंड दैट स्कोर माइट नॉट गेट यू और सिक्योर यू अ सीट इन एम बी बी एस and some of you are not willing to waste another year because some of you have already repeated for one year two year three years and uh, your family as well as you do not want to waste another year but you at the same time want to get into a medical profession which is uh, in par and has a great future ahead so i want to enlist a few options and uh, we are going to be talking about the following courses in this whole video bachelor of physiotherapy now bachelor of physiotherapy is a great 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 field actually my own sister my elder sister happens to be a physiotherapy doctor by profession uh, the first uh, thing about this course is that it is a four and a half year course okay and uh, you get a doctor degree after completion of uh, bachelor of physiotherapy the syllabus of bpt is quite in par with mbbs or uh, the subjects are much um, by and large the same and after that uh, bpt has great career prospects you have a very uh, high uh, uh, like you know a very high advantage if you go for private practice also bpt enjoys a lot of um, you know uh, like a lot of scope into various fields like sports medicine like if you uh, get if you specialize into sports medicine after your bpt as your masters then you can work uh, like with sports persons as their physiotherapy uh as a physiotherapist after that you can also do clinical practice in hospitals okay and at the same time like especially in the fields of ortho neuro and cardio respi these three four fields are very 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 aspiringly uh, great comparing uh, in physiotherapy or uh, the job salary currently in physiotherapy is not that great but private uh, salary incomes are very 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 high in bpt like uh, you can like if you get into bpt and if you do a private practice along with a job then you can easily expect your income to be somewhere around 60 like uh, 50 to 60000 per month uh, with a 8 hr decent job also another thing about physiotherapy is that uh, that you can also practice in india as well as abroad so this field has great prospects in both uh, like at both the places okay after that the next career option which i feel is a great career option is bams bams is bachelor of ayurvedic medicine and surgery now uh, it is totally a 5 year long course and uh, it is again a very established course especially in india and other southeast asian countries um, after completing your uh, bams you do get a doctor's degree you get registered with the like uh, government and you know you can always practice as a general physician you can be a rmo at uh, hospitals you can also go into research because ayurveda is a field which is going under a lot of research after that you can also um, you know uh, do other uh, you can do specialize into uh, panchakarma and all of that and you can uh, take that as a specialized branch after that uh, you can always 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 after bams you can always think of uh, getting your own branch because that's what many people do and uh, that's why it's a good field uh, the salary of a bams graduate is quite good in india and you know you can expect uh, as a, a good future ahead but just there's one thing that you cannot practice into a lot of western and european countries because yet there isn't a lot of awareness about bams but those who want to uh, set, uh, those who want to settle down in india bams is a great career option so bds is the next career option we are going to be talking about bds stands for bachelor of dental surgery and this has been a common choice of most of the people who do not get mbbs and uh, talking about bds surgery uh, so um, B, uh, bds has been a very popular career choice because uh, you get a doctor's degree first of all and it's a very good career option in india as well as abroad so you can practice um, both the ways and uh, other thing uh, that uh, you know after bds you can uh, specialize into various niches of medicine and uh, you can like various niches of dental dental surgery and uh, dentistry and you can build your own private practice also in india and private practice has a lot of scope in dentist uh, moreover in dental surgery we see private practice than government practice or job practice so that is like uh, both ways of jobs can be done in this case and also um, the course is like a four year long course so you can do it and then uh, you can uh, work under somebody and then you can expect a decent amount of salary or you can do a private practice 
practice which will earn you more so it is again a very good career option if you are considering something other than mbbs the next career option that is bhms bhms stands for bachelor of homeopathic medicine and surgery it is a five and a half year course now uh, talking about bhms there is a lot of controversy pertaining to bhms ki some people think that it's placebo effect some people think that it is actual medicine so by and large it's a fair career option uh, you can do private practice as well as you can do government practice uh, as well as you can do a job at a hospital you can be a general physician you can be an rmo you can also go into some uh, to into research up to some extent you do get a degree after completion of five and a half year course but just uh, you cannot practice into many of the countries because many of the european countries and many of the western countries like us and all have banned uh, homeopathy as a med medical option medical career option so that's why that is one drawback of bhms after that um, if you do your bhms in india generally many of the bhms doctors practice as general physicians so you can expect a decent amount of salary uh, sorry you can expect a decent amount of income out of that and also some of them practice uh, in hospitals as rmos and at other posts so you can expect uh, a decent uh, amount of salary over there too uh, anyways if you do a bhms you can expect income somewhere around 50 to 60000 and also the same for bams but comparing bams and bhms bams has higher scope than bhms so just mind it the next option we are going to talk about is bot bot is bachelor's of occupational therapy and this is somewhat a course like physiotherapy but just uh, bot focuses on the disorders associated more with occupations so that is a very niche thing it is again a four and a half year course it is a it is again a fair career option you can do private practice you can do a job okay you do get a doctor's degree after bot completion the earnings are fair but again if you have to compare bpt with bot bpt is always a better uh, hand uh, comparing between the two and also uh, you can expect your income or monthly income to be somewhere between 30 to 40k if you do a practice and as a bot therapist after that the next career option which we are going to be discussing over here is bsc nursing now bsc nursing talking specifically that nursing is an indelible and a negligible part of the medical profession uh, doctors and all are nothing without nurses every hospital requires nursing staff just the thing is that nursing staff in india is a bit underrated uh, like um, in india specifically nurses do not enjoy as much as rights and as much as uh, like credit and credit and dignity they must be getting but if you are talking about bsc nursing then you have great career options in uh, abroad more than in india because uh, in india yet we are in that stage where we are starting valuing our nurses and uh, but uh, just one drawback about bsc nursing is that you cannot do a private practice after bsc nursing you'll always have to get into a government job uh, or uh, you'll always have to be in a structured job thing like you can never practice individually so that's the thing with uh, bsc nursing but again if you are aiming for abroad then bsc nursing is a very good career option abroad the salaries are quite good in india the salary for bsc nursing is a bit less but again like if you get a government job then any day it's a good salary so that is another career option which you can aim for after uh, your uh, uh, like after your need uh, the next career option which i want to be discussing over here is farm d and uh, b farm so farm d is the doctor of pharmacy this is actually a very long six to seven year course which actually like is equivalent to a phd in pharmacy so that's a very detailed course and uh, you do get a doctor's degree after farm d it's a very good course after that you do you get a doctor's degree after that you have great prospects in uh, research you can get hospital jobs you can get professorships you can get lecture jobs like and then the salary is also quite good because it's like a uh, it's like a phd level uh, degree after that talking about b farm so b farm is a three year course that is bachelor's of pharmacy and um, somewhere b farm is yet into its developing stages it does not enjoy that much credit compared um, to other countries in india so but after b farm you can always think of doing your masters and after that you can get uh, the lectureship post and professorship post you can get into research you can uh, do company jobs you can do corporate jobs there are multiple things you can do after b farm so that too is a good career option also various fields like nutrition medicine immunology infectious diseases are coming up like you know uh, infectious medicines are coming up in uh, pharmacology and it is a very dynamic field which is undergoing a lot of uh, uh, advances so that is again a great career option the last career option 
other than NEET we are going to talk about is BSc PMT. BSc PMT stands for Bachelor of Science in Paramedical Technology. Now this again is slowly becoming a incorporate. Uh, sorry, it is getting incorporated into hospital setups, especially into um, like uh, diagnostic setups, like where we talk about lab technicians, uh, we talk about radiology technicians. So most of the so most of these are becoming uh, greatly uh, knit into the medical profession, and uh, like uh, this is enjoying a good career prospect. Like you have a decent job where you perform various tests you know you can get the job of a lab technician you can be a radiology technician you can also um, like you know after bsc pmt you can do your masters and you can get into uh, like uh, uh, intensive care, intensive care uh, therapists and you know you can uh, you have various career options after bsc pmt so that too is a good field uh, but just that again private practice for this field as well is not possible and um, you will have to always work in a structured job so uh, if you are getting into bsc pmt then you will get a decent amount of salary also the jobs uh, also the employment and the jobs for bsc pmt are quite good so this was all for today's video i hope you all enjoyed and you liked the video i hope you found it useful and uh, those of you who are not getting mbbs and are willing not to waste another year and take up some other profession you will find these op options useful please drop in all your comments uh, in the comment section don't forget to like share and subscribe until then i'll see you all in the next video and thanks a lot for all the support what you have been showing take care stay safe and stay happy